Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, during the vetting of CSS, Honorable Naisola Lesuda shared a heartbreaking story on how the people of Samburu are suffering in the hands of bandits. For those who remember the issue of Baragoy and those areas, you would think the people living there are not part of Kenya. They have suffered in the hands of people who are still practicing uh, cattle wrestling. And she was very emotional when she was giving this story. I'm saying this because I want to link what President William Samoy Ruto said just, is it two days ago? I want to link that to that. But before we go into the William Ruto warning, I wanted to listen to the Honorable Naisula Lesuda, a member of parliament from uh, Samburu West. Then from there, I want to link the president warning. Away from my responsibility and have been consistent and diligent. But nominee, I am tired. I am honestly tired. And Kenyans are tired. What do you intend to do differently from your predecessors, away from the usual rhetoric and threats? Perhaps you need to come and live in Kurkur, Pora, Longewan, Losuk, incognito for only one week. Come and stay there. What strategy or are your thoughts do you have to end this menace once and for all? so that as a leader I can execute my other national duties and not concern myself only on matters of security. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Gikaria, Professor, I've allowed that uh, emotional discourse because of the peculiar circumstances of uh, the member. Gikaria. Now, Honorable... Naisula Lesuda is asking a very critical question here to Kidura Kindiki. And she was clear. Are you going to be different from what we have heard or it is going to be a continuation of rhetoric and threats that they have heard before which has never changed anything? Kidura Kindiki answered the question the way he could. But now, the president was in Samburu, distributing food relief. And he used that opportunity to give warning to the bandits. In fact, he has certain that even he will de 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 deploy the um, army into that area if he will be pushed to the wall. Now, I don't know your view about the president's statement. But before I give my view, I want you to listen to the president shortly, and then from there, we will continue with this conversation. Listen to the president. Na mimi najua wale nazungumza juu yao wananisikiza. Nyinyi munawaendesha hiyo biashara ya kuiba ngombe, kuua wananchi, kusababisha ukosefu wa usalama, mutafute kazi ingine ya kufanya. Na mukini jaribu mutajua hamujui. Yenye muna nielewa? Eh. Najua wanasiki, wananisikiza. So I want to tell them, let them not try me. Tunaelewana? Kwa sababu... Mimi siwezi kubali kwamba wakati tunapanga mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya kuna watu wengine wanaturudisha nyuma wanatuingiza kwa mambo ya ujinga mambo ambayo ni ya zamani ya kuiba ngombe ya watu wengine that must stop Now we are continuing with the panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and they are yet to subscribe my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once we release a video like this one, you will always get notified. 
Again, to all our channel subscribers, and on all drop comment, and those who have joined channel membership, those who have been super chatting us in our premium, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. And again, I'm still requesting to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. By the way, giving this video a thumbs up is also another way of supporting our work. Thank you and back to our discussion. Apart from rhetoric and threats, there is nothing the president has done different from what Honorable Naisula Lesuda anticipated for. Her speech was very emotional. The question she was asking was very emotional because it was touching on the lives of the people whom she represent. And these are Kenyans. Of course, in our constitution, it is setting very clear that all Kenyans should be protected. But we are seeing eh, the government, to some extent seemingly, neglecting some areas in this country. I think where Lesuda is as of now, maybe she is again in emotion. Because she did not expect the president to come with rhetoric and threats. In fact, to some bandits and thugs, if you threaten them, is when they try you. And for your information, after William Ruto sending threat to this bandit, they have finally responded to President Uhuru, sorry, William Samuel Ruto. Uhuru did retirement. It was there too. They have finally responded to the president. And this is the information Naisula Lesuda is sharing today. It was shared by NTV Kenya. This is what NTV is saying. The president has been dared. Naisula Lesuda. This is what she's saying. This morning I have received a message that there was an attack and a family lost 200 goats and the ships and that was their livelihood. On the eve, President Ruto was in Baragoy. An attack had happened. The president was tough talking. He said, don't try me. He has been dared this morning. There is so much impunity in the north, like Mtado. Naisula Lesuda MP Samburu West, 7th November 2022. This was an SMS. You have heard it from the person on ground. The people of Baragoy, the people in Samburu, did not expect a president who will go there and give warnings. In fact, the worst thing for William Ruto to do was to warn these bandits. You don't warn them because they are going to try you. And yes, they have tried the president. In fact, I was reading comments yesterday after William Ruto's speech and many people agreed that because the president has warned these people, they are going to try him so that they can see how far he can go hard on them and imagine it has happened these people have been vindicated i don't know if the president has the correct advisors in the office or if he don't take the advice when lesuda was talking she talked about repeated threats and her rhetoric they have already heard these things it has never changed anything. In fact, the more you give rhetoric and threats, it's the more like you are telling them to come. And yes, they always respond. They have been coming. I don't know what the president will do. But he had, he had already told us what he's going to do. So, Mr. President, please take an action. Save this country. Restore peace. Just do exactly what you had promised to do if they dare you. Because today, they have finally 
they are due. It is your duty to protect each and everyone in this country. So play your role. If it is dispatching army, KDF okay, for what? Do it in the interest of protecting the people in Samburu. Let there be no more cry. Let there be no more tear. We saw the mem Honorable Member of Parliament crying. The tears came out. This was very emotional because it was touching on the dear people whom she represented. These are Kenyans. People pay taxes. Use it. Safeguard them. This is a dire situation. We are like, you know, I don't understand how we can still have such behaviors and practices in this country. The president talked about the reserved police officers. But most of the time, they have been using the people who just came from the training. They put them in front. It is not even fair to the families. Use people who have experience. Not people who have just joined the forces and then you finish them in a day. So you tabaki na amigani kama tunafanya mamba kama hai. Ama jesu ya inagani tabaki na hai. So it is the time for president to stop rhetoric and take an action. As simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you. See you in our next video but I don't know your view concerning this. So let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation.